Yeah, so I want to uh, tell you something about cotuples, and it's a trip to category theory and back, and the back is really needful to stay healthy in your brain. Um, yeah, so let's start with types A and B, and category theory is called this a diagram, even though it's just two things. So we can make the product of it, and we call it the tuple of it. Uh, it's just the product. And with the product, there come two functions, the arrows. In category theory, they are the projections. We call them get A, get B. So imagine we have another type, C, and we have functions F and G going to A and B. Then, since tuple, that's called a limit, and it's, uh, it's a cone, and it's a, it's a limiting cone, so it's a limit, and C with F and G is another cone. And since tuple is a limiting cone, we get a unique function going from C to this tuple, making this whole diagram commute. And this is just mapping a C to the tuple FC, GC. So now you may ask, what is this dashed line in the middle? It's not from the Mac, no. This is like, think of it as a mirror. When the category series looks through it, everything turns around and he puts a co in front of everything. So we start again with A and B, then we build a code tuple, and we get two functions into the code tuple, let's call them coget A, coget B. And we get another C, and now we get functions in 2C, I call them K and L, and we get, again, this unique property now going to C, and this is, okay, let's call it code tuple K and L. Okay, and here's a fun tag. Fun fact, I used uh, the Beamer class and it uses a style named Darmstadt, which I also figured out is my hometown. <laughs> so now, let's demystify Cotuple. So, okay, what's this in the middle? In category theory, it's just the sum of A and B. So let's call it sum AB. No, we call it variant A and B. So those two functions, what are those? In category theory, they're just the injection. And, okay, in our case, it's just constructing the variant from the object, uh, from the elements. So, now, what's that? The unique function here in category theory, they call it sometimes k's. In our case, it's just stood with it, with the overload of k and l. So, okay, we have objects, tuple on the one side, variant at the other side. We have the limiting cone morphisms, that's get, and that the other hand, it's a constructor. And the unique mediating morphism is on the left hand side, it's building the tuple. On the other hand side, it's visiting of, through the overload of K and L. So now we know a tuple of A and B is nothing but a struct of A and B. They are isomorphic. So in a sense, tuple is isomorphic to struct. Yeah, hand waving here. So, Okay, let's assume on the left-hand side we have struct, what's on the, okay, and then going down, the limiting conomorphisms are just operator dot. It's a projection. And the unique mediating morphism is just building your struct from F, G, and, and whatever comes there. Okay, so what's on the right-hand side here? It would be the language variant. The limiting cone would just be constructing a language variant. And down here, we would have pattern matching. So here's a takeaway. Variant and wizard are as fundamental as tuple and get. And co is a category through the looking class. Or with the words of Lewis Carroll. <laughs> OK, that's Alice 2. Thank you.